So the question is going to ask you to state the slope and the y-intercept. If it's not in the form y equals mx plus b, you can't just magically look at the numbers and say, oh, that's the slope and that's the y-intercept. It has to be in this form, which means that what has to be isolated? Y has to be isolated. So here I have negative 3y. So you have to be careful because a lot of you keep making mistakes because you forget to include your negative sign. So I want to move, I want to get ev rid of everything from the left side except for this negative 3y. So what it, I'm going to keep negative 3y on the left side. And then what is 4x? How do I get rid of 4x? Yep. Subtract 4x. And how do I get rid of plus 10? Subtract 10. Have I isolated y? No. So what's the last step? There's only two steps to this. Okay. Divided by negative 3, which means I have to divide this by negative 3, and I have to divide this by negative 3. Everything. So, y is equal to, what's a negative 4 divided by negative 3? Positive 4 over 3x. We're just going to leave this as a fraction, okay? And negative divided by negative is positive 10 over 3. The question said, state the slope and state the y-intercept. What's the slope equal to? Coefficient of x. Good, 4 over 3. And what's the y-intercept equal to? The constant term, the number by itself, 10 over 3. What's 10 divided by 3? 